welcome to part three. Yes, there's so much in these, well, it's not surprising really. If it's gardens of the world, there's a lot to see. And here we are stepping into the rose pergola. And I thought, well, there's not going to be any roses left. We've missed the roses season, but I have it on good authority. There are a few that we can still sniff. Oh, this one's in the sunshine. Let's do this one. Liz and I always love to stop and literally smell the roses. So let's have a little sniff. Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh yes, that's a beauty. Look at that. And it smells divine. And there's still quite a few buds on here. Look at that. So elegant. I love, love, love roses. Ah, oh, and there's some red ones. And some more yellow ones. Gosh, these must be quite old. Look how established. Look how, by golly, that's. And here's another great metaphor, isn't, isn't it? The bittersweet nature of life. Look at those thorns. Woo! And yet, at the end of those thorns, there is this most magnificent, beautiful flower. So we know that there will always be both, always be both. And this is where Crusher and Booster are a great reminder. We cannot have one without the other. We cannot have a negative without a positive, just like a magnet or the different aspects of a cell. We need them both can't really go over to that lovely pink one. Can you catch it? Oh, there's a lovely bud there. Look at that. And so I'm reminded again and again, as we explore this beautiful garden, that there is beauty everywhere. We may be overwhelmed sometimes by that which is ugly in the world. And there is plenty that we could potentially say um, is overwhelmingly ugly and painful and difficult. And we can't deny that. And this is where we need to really take good care of ourselves. And this is where self-compassion really helps. And I invite you, if your heart is heavy, especially because of the wars in the world, the hardship, the hunger, the injustice, the disparities in our cultures, to offer yourself, it's even more important to offer yourself time with the roses, time with beauty, time to soak up that which is full of love. These flowers would not exist unless someone had spent a long time nurturing and tending to this garden. I know it doesn't look much now as the seasons change, but we know there's absolutely no way these beautiful roses could flourish without a caring hand. And this is what I really encourage all of you to give yourself. My beautiful assistant is waving at me to <laughs> show me this wonderful flower. Look at that. Oh my. Absolutely beautiful. And the water from the rain. Oh, let's just drink it in. And it's 
so funny. I have resistance to the vehicles outside the garden, interrupting my magical moment with the roses. And yet, of course, this is our practice. Can I be fully present with the beauty? Can I be in allowance and acceptance of the noise? That is wonderful, thank you. It smells delicious as well. Oh, let's have a smell. Breathe in everyone. Ah, mm -hmm. it's divine. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's probably not much to see, but oh my gosh. We've both just, oh wow. That bird just came flying over again. Wow. Majestic beasts in the sky. And we can pause for a moment and enjoy. Look at that lovely tree. Just beautiful. They always look so soft as the, the wind gently brushes the top of their leaves and they're gently swaying. So pretty. And I did have a smell of that lovely rose and it really was magnificent. Look, this one as well. Maybe can't see as clearly, but just a gentle breeze right at the top. Brushing the leaves so they look like they're gently swaying and dancing. So beautiful. How blessed are we? Some birds coming to visit now. And I'll stop talking so you can enjoy the sounds. So we've uh, arrived at the herb, herb garden, and there's a great big obelisk right in the centre. How terribly grand. This is very exciting. I mean, golly, fancy having this amount of land. This is someone's private garden that they just share with the world and have created, which I think is even more wonderful. These fabulous slated um, pots. Gosh, they're great, aren't they? Look at that. Is that Welsh slate, do you think? All the way from Wales. And what's left of some herbs. This might be thyme, I think. I think so. Ooh, still smells strong. And uh, I'm going to come round this way so my shadow's out of the way. These lovely flowers, there's still a few here. Beautiful. And here's the rather grand obelisk. It takes, I mean, this has all been bricked and shaped and oh, I wonder what it's been based on actually, maybe an English garden. Um, who knows? Very pretty. And of course, we're not showing you <laughs> the best time of year, but it's, it takes such a vision. Look at that now. Wow. With the sun right in the center. That is just spectacular. And you can see the perfection of the circles and I think circles are so powerful. We always practice our self-compassion gatherings in a circle where there is equity and equality and togetherness and belonging and connection. Wonderful. Just wonderful. Ooh, and uh, I'm drawn to this rather fabulous herb this. Ooh. 
Oh, that's quite strong. Uh, I can't place it. Is it a type of rosemary, I wonder? Silver, very unusual. Oh yes, this is a definitely a traditional rosemary. And still some flowers. Look at that, isn't that pretty? It's definitely my, <laughs> it's not a herb I use in my cooking. <laughs> oh, isn't this gorgeous? And there's one more rather lovely colour that's drawing me. Ooh, here we are. Oh, that's so delicate. So soft. Just having a little sniff of the leaves. Hmm, I can't place it. But it's got a texture, the leaf has a texture like a, a lemon balm, it's quite soft, but strong. And that's me, me and my shadow, <laughs> sending you loads of love. Mwah, 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 mwah. Take lots of mwah, good care of yourself. Until next time, bye for now. Go gently, my friends, go gently. So stepping out of the herb garden, when we thought we were complete, I just can't ignore these fabulous happy flowers. Some sort of daisy, I think, and what's left of them. They're so gorgeous and bright and contrast rather fabulously with all the deep greens. And I got all excited, obviously, when I saw these wonderful yellow flowers. And then there's these amazing purple flowers just at the edge of the herb garden, which I really wish you could feel. They are so soft. They're like velvet. Absolutely amazing. And again, I'm Fred, I don't know the herb. It's, just, it's an interesting smell. But look at the color. Look how beautiful. <sighs> so lovely. And of course, purple and yellow go so well together. And what's left of this garden? Oh my goodness, just when we thought it was complete, we look around the other side and come across, look at these. I don't know if they're called bottle brushes, but something like that. Aren't they just magnificent? And that's the thing about being in a country that the flora and fauna is very different from certainly what I grew up with, it just takes my breath away. So good. They look so majestic, so strong and tall and bright and happy and brave and great. All of these qualities coming back to our uh, self-compassion and our fierce self-compassion. Tender and fierce. Woohoo! I do, I see if I can reach one to touch. Oh, it's quite rubbery. Oh, it's so good. So good. We just had to show you. <laughs> Look at them. It reminds me of, um, oh, the Chihuly um, glass art I saw many, many years ago at Kew Gardens and similar spectacular flowers but were made out of glass stood tall and bold and great wow 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 and just when we thought we were full to the rim look at this beauty <gasps> looks like something out of a fairy tale just one left Wow, I don't know whether you can appreciate just how delicate. If you have a look at all the, all of these, these have all completed. And this one is so soft. It's so delicate. And it's the most extraordinary, exquisite shape. Oh, I really wish 
I could capture it. Oh, that's a bit better. Look at that. <gasps> just makes my heart sing. You can imagine a fairy just <laughs> coming to rest out of the sunshine under it. Oh, well, here we go. Oh, there's more, there's more, there's more over here. <gasps> Wow, there's a few more here. Look at this. Oh, they're so pretty. They're so delicate. Ooh, underneath the arch. There's a few more here. Oh. Magnificent. You should see my grin. <laughs> my cheeks are starting to hurt with all the delight. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Nature truly is a marvel. Ah, oh, an absolute marvel. So <laughs> it's time to say goodbye. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed all parts of this wonderful adventure here in the Garden of the Worlds. It's been so magical. I've really enjoyed it and it feels extra special as we will soon be leaving this beautiful land, the land of the long white cloud. So I'll leave you with a cloud. <laughs> Take good care, my friends. Lots of love.